Hello people, in this video we want to look at the school health services. What services? Health services. Are we looking at education, literacy? No, we are not discussing about that. We are discussing about health services. So, uh, basically this uh, school health services in 1909 in Baroda city, the first time they examined the medical examination of students was done. Okay. So, uh, in Bhor uh, committee recommendation 1946, they included school health services. Comprehensive school health services was given by Renukaroy committee 1961. So, you can just write some uh, historical importance. 1909 they did initially, then 1946 board committee suggested it, then 1961 some other committee suggested it. So, health, school health services, this is PSM, right? Preventive and social medicine. Basically, what are the health problems of the school child? Standard things only you will see, uh, malnutrition, infectious diseases, they can spread, then intestinal parasites, worms, <coughs> Skin diseases, they can also infect others' children, right? Uh, eye, ear problems, dental caries. Here I would like to talk about lice, pediculosis. That comes under skin only, right? Okay. But just generally what uh, children spread from one child to the other, it can spread, right? So these are the health problems of children. Now coming to what the objectives of the school health service. Now that you know the problems, can you address these problems via, via a school health service? So basically the objectives are what of uh, school health service they have told here these are the objectives standard uh, things from PSM promote health prevent disease early diagnosis and treatment health conscious awakening health consciousness in children provision for healthful environment. So you will uh, give health education health education is primordial prevention yes prevention of disease primary prevention early diagnosis treatment follow up that is secondary prevention awakening health consciousness in children kind of a primordial Provision for healthy environment. The environment itself, if you keep healthy, that is also a primordial kind of a prevention and even primary prevention. You know, they should have a, a hand wash before lunch, right? After lunch, hand wash before eating, before their snacks break. Then they can bring healthy snacks, uh, etc. Or the school itself can provide these uh, healthy snacks. What do you think, guys? So, let us look at aspects of who school health service. So, there are some aspects. See here, what is this photo? Let us look at this photo. This is the correct position in a minus desk. So, minus desk means this should overlap. The desk and the seating should overlap. So, that is a minus desk. So, that time they will not lean forward, right? See now what they are talking about. This one is minus desk. This one, okay. But This is minus desk. This is correct, okay. It should, oops, not red. It should overlap. Hmm. Right, this is overlapping. So this minus desk is correct. Yes. See, it is overlapping the table and chair. Okay, hmm. this one is zero. Which one is zero? This middle one. This one is zero. Huh. Okay, plus is really far. This is not right. Yeah. Then he'll bend forward a lot. So this one is correct. The spine position. Spine means you know what? Spine. Spine is this back. Your yeah. spinal cord. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, the aspects of school health service, what and all will you write in the exam if they ask you aspects of school health service? Mainly in the exam, they can ask this healthful school environment. That is where you will get all this uh, table, chair, furniture, room, building, site, door, window, etc. But, anyways, we are, before we go to that, let us go to. Um, uh, the aspects of school health service, all of them. Let's look at this. Health appraisal of school children and school personnel, not just the children, staff, everybody's health appraisal. Remedial measures and follow up. You will uh, suggest the remedial measures uh, treatment and then you will follow up, correct? What do you say? Yes. Yeah. Prevention of communicable disease. You know what communicable disease is? Like, mm -hmm. you know, in school, one child from one child, the other child can get disease. So that mm -hmm. is a communicable disease, like infectious okay. diseases. You got it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is uh, prevention. You want to do prevention of communicable disease. If they have a disease, you want to suggest it. You want to do high health appraisal suggest. Yeah, one minute. Yeah, okay. So kids, if they are staying near for the other people, germs will come. Same like hand washing stuff. Yes, they should hand wash and all that. Yeah. So you want to prevent these communicable diseases. Then healthful school environment, we told you, right? The location uh, of the school, how it should be. School should not be next to main road, right? What will happen if the school is next to main road? Uh, the school, school can crush too. Like uh, the car. Noise will be more. Noise. noise, noise will be more, okay? Yeah. And then coming to the site, the site of the school should be like, it should be on high land, right? And they are suggesting some 10 acres land for high, higher elementary school, 5 acres for primary school, 
like if you have this much land then it's good you should have additional space for uh, playground etc what is this one acre of land per 100 students additional space also they're saying is it and you know what they're saying for these uh, nursery and uh, small children no they are saying it should be in same floor they should not be made to climb steps and all that okay but you climb steps in school um yeah my teacher too comes okay so then uh, you have this um, those children may fall off the steps that's why they're scared classroom uh, sh uh, veranda should be attached to classroom no classroom should accommodate more than 40 students so per class one uh, how many students um, one classroom has to have 40 students yeah one classroom should have less than 40 students okay how many students were there in your class? I don't remember. Actually. You don't? Okay. Then guys, per capita space for uh, students in classroom should not be less than 10 square feet. How many square feet? 10 square feet. 10, yeah. Okay, then uh, furniture. Furniture, what did they say? Furniture, ha bench. Uh, bench, stuff. yeah, bench chair. They said that minus desk you should have. Okay. Minus desk. Chair should have this backrest, okay? Backrest is important. Then they are saying, uh, what else they are saying here in healthful school environment? They are talking about the doors, windows. Windows should be broad. You can write all that, I think. At least 25% of the floor space door and window should be, okay? It should be greater than or equal to 25% of floor space. How many percent? 25, say? 25. Yeah. And uh, you should have adequate ventilation. Window is better if it's in the left side because people will write with the right side, right? So from left, if the uh, light falls, it'll be bed. Good. If they if the light falls from behind, what will happen? You'll get shadow. Yeah. On the book, right? And we can't see the book correctly, and all will be dark. Yeah. Left side window is better. Okay. I would like to add here on the fire safety. There should be fire safety, uh, right? Because many schools are having problem with fire safety and okay, fire safety door should be there. Exits, emergency exits. They should have some fire safety drills also. And what's the color? What should the color of the school be? Um, my school color was red. White it should be okay. Yeah. And uh, it should red. be periodically painted. Lighting, lighting should have sufficient natural light. It should have. And we said from left side it should come, right? The light. Light should come from left side. And it has to be bulbs too. Yeah, okay. Left side should, should be there. Then, water supply. You should have clean drinking water, right? Independent uh, source of safe portable water. Eating facilities, they should have clean area to hand wash and eat, right? Did you have enough eating space in your school? Yeah. One day we can eat out in the terrace and one time we can eat inside the school. Okay. Lavatory is uh, toilets. Did you have enough toilets in your school? Yeah. Okay. This is important. There should be one urinal for 60 students. Okay. And one latrine for 100 students. I feel this is very insufficient. This is, has to be changed, I feel. This is really not sufficient. Arrangement should be same. For, I mean, separate for boys and girls. Okay separate for boys and girls i would totally disagree with this one latin for 100 students this is not at all sufficient what do you think hmm? there should be more toilets i feel okay yeah okay then um, we'll move to um, uh, nutritional services how many floors are there that many uh, toilets, toilets should be are. yeah every floor will have a toilet you are more smart okay nutritional services guys uh, nutritional services so some schools give midday school meal then you have um, what is applied nutrition program? What is this applied nutrition program? Thank you. So they are saying in the school itself, they can make a school garden. That is the applied nutrition program. They will provide seeds, manure and all. You can grow what you want. Midday school meals, you know. Some schools give meals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's read about this. So 1961, midday school meals was suggested by the school health committee. Who suggested? School, school. health committee. Health suggested this okay 1961 they suggested that at least one nourishing meal should be given to the children okay yeah and if they don't have snacks so we have to give them yeah so if the people can afford it they can bring their lunch packets okay 
that's also fine so specifically they are saying that meal whatever they are giving it should be at least one third of the daily calorie requirement and about one half of the daily protein requirement okay so that's what you will give one meal at least and so this is the midday meal uh, scheme this is the logo and this is the food that they are getting so basically it should provide what at least one third of the daily calorie requirement and one half of half of the daily protein requirement protein at least half they should get from school and uh, calories they should get at least one third from school right then you have applied nutrition program is it is about what school garden okay and then the last one they have here under nutrition services is um, specific nutrients okay what is it specific nutrients mm -hmm. now specific nutrients means you know that specific nutrients are required for the prevention of some diseases right like for vitamin e you should get then uh, for anemia you should get iron right mm -hmm. so specific nutrients uh, you will give whenever there is uh, such nutrient disorders in the com community if it is there you mm -hmm. can as well address it in the school level iron then what else did i say mm -hmm. <clears throat> vitamin a okay mm -hmm. so vitamin a iron what will vitamin a deficiency cause you know if you don't have vitamin a if it is less in the body it will cause night blindness okay mm -hmm. now let's go to first aid and emergency care so you should be able to uh, where are we we are in the aspects of school health service so uh, we are currently here first aid and emergency care guys so look at this first aid and emergency care do you know what first aid is first aid is yeah it means to say that if there is some uh, you have a cut on your hand so you have to give first aid you have to wash it with uh, water or a uh, little soap and then you have to um, yeah, put bandage on it right that is first aid okay in case of any emergency <clears throat> so if there is uh, if a child becomes sick or injured what will you do you should have some kind of a room also i think with a nurse to handle all these things what do you say mm -hmm. so there can be some epileptic fits uh, uh, fainting episodes etc so there should be a fully equipped first aid post should be there but you have to not only have nurse you have to have doctor too yeah yeah you can have a doctor also okay for a big schools i think they have doctors also now mental health now let us move on to mental health so mental health uh, of a child affects his physical health right so you should what and all you should address your juvenile delinquency maladjustment drug addiction all these problems we have to address okay so what is juvenile delinquency what is delinquency it means minor crime okay so uh, then maladjustment drug addiction etc so you in the school you can shape the child's behavior and promote the mental health so the school teacher has a both positive and a preventive role and school environment should give enough relax relaxation time okay so that they are able to unwind coming to dental health guys now we are going to specifics like dental health eye health and uh, standard things again health education education of the handicapped children proper maintenance and use of school health records okay last one is school health records So let us look at dental health. So dental health, what you should teach them how to brush is it? How many times do you brush your teeth? Two times a day. Morning and night, right? Mm -hmm. and, then and then you can have visits from a dental hygienist who can take care of the, the teeth and tell them how to brush and mm -hmm. catch the caries early. What do you say? What do you think they are doing here? I'm um, checking the teeth. Could be okay. So the next one they have mentioned in the aspects is what? Um, eye health eye health uh, they should be checking for refractive errors squint amblyopia very important right to check catch the lazy eye and any infections like trachoma pink eye any other viral infections conjunctivitis all that they can catch at school okay especially refractive errors so basically in vision 20 you remember vision 2020 there are a few diseases under it um, the cataract childhood blindness childhood blindness is uh, important and in vision 2020 that is right to sight they have targeted this childhood blindness which can be because of many reasons right vitamin a deficiency or refractive errors right so uh, a teacher can be trained especially uh, if it's a teacher a woman who wear specs it will be good so she can check the students for visual acuity Uh, using the snellels chart and uh, if it is less than 6 by 9 the visual acuity that is they cannot read probably um, they cannot read these let's say they cannot read any of these 
then probably they can be recommended for um, a further checkup right so that is um, he eye health okay then health education you will teach them personal hygiene washing hands environmental health then cigarette smoking is bad you will teach them family life also right um, family life education they are saying it's very important they are saying so it's not just individual entire family's health is important right uh -huh. who's who and all is there in your family Huh. Grandmother. Very nice, very nice. Okay. So, education of handicapped children also is important. So, handicapped children should be a part of the school. They, they will have some reservation for uh, uh, handicapped children so that they are not discriminated against. Okay. And then, school health records should be maintained like the date of birth, the parents' name, address, what and all physical examination findings were there. Immunization records also the parents can provide to the school, right? So that you will have a uh, what useful link between home, school, and community. Okay, last we are going to the we have finished this aspects. So in aspects, what and all did we look at? Can can you tell what and all you looked at in aspects? So we looked at uh, appraise the health, give remedial solutions, follow up, mm -hmm. then uh, prevent communicable diseases, school health environment, all about that furniture and all that we saw water supply, food and all that. Then we saw nutritional services, midday meals, uh, applied nutrition program. Applied nutrition program is suggested by the, uh, UNICEF looks like and uh, they will have school garden etc. Then specific nutrients, iron, vitamin A and all. Specifically nutrients you can address, um, right. Then first aid and emergency care, there should be a fully equipped first aid post. Mental delinquency, mental health also you should address, dental health you should address, uh, eye health also you should address. Health education, you should tell them about importance of hygiene and how disease spreads and etc. Uh, education of handicapped children also should be taken care of, proper maintenance and use of school health records. So, this is what we looked at aspects. Okay, now we will move on to the last part of this video. This school health administration. The health of ch child is responsibility of the parents, teachers, health administrators, community etc. So, success should have coordination between all these people. Simply you just say that, okay. Parents, teachers, child themselves also you should say uh, and then um, health administrators, community, legislation, all that you can blame a lot of things here and um, uh, this primary health centers whatever we have in the primary health care right they should address school who will address the school uh, health primary health centers and school health committees both these two. Uh, should address school health okay who are not the primary health centers they also should send their people to schools to check everything right and school health committees should invite them and uh, make sure that everything goes well so we are done with uh, uh, school health services guys so uh, here we are looking only at health aspects we told you basically in 1919 uh, 19, in Baroda city medical examination of his children uh, school children was done then in board committee they, they recommended the school health services 1946 then a comprehensive school health service uh, in 1961 this you should say school health services actually word you are going to use from here only I think in 1961 uh, what are the problems of school children malnutrition infectious diseases parasites uh, lice pediculosis diseases of skin ear eye etc dental caries etc mental health also you should include okay because nowadays because of uh, increasing um, uh, nuclear families and etc you can include mental health there that's also a problem right objectives what should be the objectives you should promote uh, a positive health should prevent disease early diagnosis and treatment awakening health consciousness in children you should provide a healthful school environment aspects we saw the aspects so uh, there are eight aspects or how many whoa there are 12 aspects let us look at these what are the 12 aspects that we have looked at uh, health appraisal of not just the children even the school personnel remedial measures you should give that is prevent uh, uh, treatment and follow up prevention of communicable diseases mention a lot here okay about the communicable diseases tube glosses the monitor test all that you should mention here school health uh, environment uh, here you should see the location of this school should be not near a main road right and uh, the site should be at least 10 acres for primary and five acres for uh, sorry 10 acres for higher and uh, five acres for primary and they should have a playground should have additional uh, uh, acre, one acre, etc. Uh, uh, one classroom should have less than 40 students. They should have um, a nursery school, etc. Primary schools can be nursery, especially, should be on the same level. No steps, don't make them climb steps. 
per capita space for uh, students in classroom should not be less than 10 square feet remember and uh, furniture you should have the minus desk you saw this minus desk minus desk where it overlaps right so that you do you can keep the spine position correctly doors and windows should be greater than or equal to 25 percent of uh, floor space there should be fire safety exits very very important nowadays schools are being built like jails with grills uh, school color building should be white it should be whitewashed regularly but the lighting should be from the left side because children write with their right hand if the lighting comes from behind then they will get shadow Water supply should be clean, good, drinking water, potable water, eating place should be clean, hygienic. They should be having a hand wash also so that they can wash their hand before and after food. Uh, laboratory, there should be one urinal for 60 students, one latrine for uh, 100 students. I totally disagree with this. This is very, very less according to me. Um, a separate, there should be for boys and girls, separate um, you, uh, toilets should be there. Nutritional services, we saw midday school meals. Uh, the school health committee uh, suggested that the one nutritious meal you should give so that they get one third of the daily calorie needs and one half of the protein needs at least they should get protein um, and then applied nutrition program by unicef you should have a school garden you can have your own uh, they'll give uh, seeds in manure grow all your vegetables yourself kind of a thing that's nice right i think this is very very nice what do you say guys because what you're teaching children only education education and some book stuff teach them how to grow food how to cook even cook right Survival needs these are more than anything in life. Specific nutrients, uh, iron, vitamin A, uh, these are specific nutrients. Iron deficiency causes anemia. Vitamin A can lead to night blindness. Remember this um, in a school garden, um, it can also make the country independent. We don't have to depend on other countries for food, etc. It's almost an agriculture training in the beginning. Okay, enough. Uh, first aid and emergency care, you should have a full equipped first aid post. Mental health is very important because of a uh, lot of mental health issues are there. That will itself will lead to good physical health if mental health is good. Maladjustment and uh, what have they written here? Drug addiction, etc. Juvenile delinquency, that is a crime, minor crimes that the uh, children can commit. Dental health, eye health, remember to mention Vision 2020. Childhood illness uh, is under Vision 2020. Childhood ill blindness. Then uh, the teacher will check the uh, eye, uh, visual acuity of the child. If it's less than 6 by 9, she will recommend them for further consultation. And uh, squint, amblyopia, everything you have to check. The teacher uh, will use Snellel's chart to check visual acuity. Usually it should be a teacher who wears spectacles themselves. That will be better. Health education, uh, you should promote health, hygiene, hand wash, etc. Not just at the student level, even at the family level. Education of uh, handicapped children should happen. Don't forget this. I have a feeling you will forget this point while writing in the exam. Then um, uh, proper maintenance and school. You maintain the vaccination records, school records and uh, you follow it up. Okay. Then school health. Whose uh, responsibility is this? It is not just the responsibility of teachers or uh, health administrators, even parents in the community. So primary health centers should address school health needs and school health committees also will be there to take care of all this. Okay. What else the specific things you saw guys? One classroom should have less than 40 students per capita space 10 square feet. Then uh, school is a temple of learning, uh, health promotion, health protection, health restoration, health education, healthy living. All that you will write. Then uh, health services, healthful living environment, health education. Periodical medical examination every six months they are saying immunization is important. School vision screening program, we told you this is under the National Program for Control of Blindness and Visual Impairment. You have something called as the um, Vision 2020 under which you have childhood blindness, right? So the teacher will check the students and teacher can be a woman with spectacles. Refer the child, the visual acuity is less than 6 by 9. Refer to PHC, okay? Where there will be a pa paramedic ophthalmic assistant. Please check and send. They usually do this for uh, age 10 to 14 looks like. I think you should catch it early. Why age 10? I think even before that, they can do a visual acuity check, right? They can catch amblyopia at least. And then, these things you should write, okay? Squint, amblyopia, all this should be caught at an early age, right? Hearing tests also they can do. What do you say, people? Hearing tests can be done, right? Then, healthful school environment, we told you about that minus uh, desk, right? You should write that. School building, location, classrooms. Uh, left side uh, light should come focus guys focus uh, the window and door should be less than or greater than yeah greater than 25% uh, of um, the floor space very important that you should not forget then sitting arrangement we told you minus type uh, uh, desk is important right then 
sanitary latrines one for a hundred urinals one for sixty which i felt is inadequate then how they handle uh, waste waste handling also they should be taught see here all ways of classrooms etc they should segregate waste and all that that also you teach them then you should give them enough rest okay see classes should be interspersed with rest i would really love this so that they can relax right unwind see midday meals they're saying what and all should be there cereals and millets uh, 75 gram per day per child pulses should be there leafy vegetables non leafy vegetables uh milk should be provided oil and fats this is your standard uh, calorie intake you will write right write all these don't forget guys you remember you have you will teach you will learn all this in nutrition right write all that depending on the marks okay then physical education what is physical education you have a physical education teacher right pt pt pupil pupil relation and pupil teacher relationship also should be good health education just seeing all the topics here okay we are done what is this child to child program okay so anyways telling stories or street plays etc so we are done with school health services guys so we are addressing health at a school level that's really good right because no need to go to every child's house they are coming to school anyways address it there that's all for now guys in this video on school health services bye bye